Greetings, adventurer, and welcome to the Carpenter's Guild. We are the artisans who take the wood and grant it new form and purpose as the archer's bow, the lancer's spear, and the novice's shield. If carpentry holds any appeal, you should consider joining our guild. Might you be interested in learning the ways of woodworking? Learn the ways of woodworking? Sure. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, before we proceed, I think it only right that I acquaint you with our guild's storied past. Since the founding of Gridania, we have built our homes and crafted our weapons from the trees of the Twelveswood. As our nation grew and prospered, the woodworker's repertoire expanded to encompass a greater variety of articles, and carpentry developed into an art. At first, there was no association of carpenters. Each individual worked and sold his services independently. However, with advent of water mills meant that more efficient construction methods were needed, along with formalized maintenance re regimes, all of which necessitated organization. The Carpenters Guild was founded to oversee the operation of water mills and promote cooperation between woodworkers. Now, I must mention at this point we owe much and more of our prosperity to the Great Loam Growery. Thanks to the hard-working botanist, we are blessed with the finest lumber in all Eorzea. This confluence of ideal circumstances allows us to provide all manner of goods and services to the people of Gridania. My apologies, that was rather longer than I intended. Still, I trust you have gained a greater understanding of our guild. We expect our members to d drink deep of the collected wisdom that the guild has amassed over the course of its history, to actively seek an understanding of wood and the techniques required to work it, rather than simply waiting to be taught. We expect, in short, nothing less than total commitment to the craft. If you wish to start down this path, speak to me once more. I shall explain you, explain to you the enrollment process. Would you like to learn more about the enrollment process? Way of the Carpenter. Prague wishes to reaffirm your desire to join the Carpenter's Guild. Wonderful. I should mention at this point that Tim Timbermaster Beaton assesses all would-be apprentices personally, so you'll need to obtain his approval before you begin. Timbermaster Beaton can be a harsh and unforgiving man, but if you love the craft and have the will to learn, you could ask for no better tutor. He is, quite simply, the finest carpenter in Gridania. Of course, it will take you some time and no small amount of effort to comprehend the full extent of his teachings, but you may re rest assured that he will not lead you astray. That said, when you meet him, I would advise you to choose your words carefully and um, resist the urge to run away. Another green adventure come to play with saws. Well then, I suggest you first speak with the... Oh, you've met with Krog, have you? That is well, but know that the decision to initiate you into the guild rests with me. Tell me true, adventurer. Have you a mind to devote yourself to the art of carpentry? Devote yourself to carpentry? Sure. The look on your face bespeaks determination. Or perhaps trapped wind. Still, you look strong enough to hold a saw, and if your resolve is indeed genuine, I give you leave to remain, for the time being. However, you are useless to me in your current state. You are as a seedling, some potential, perhaps, but no more like to thrive than perish. Experience is what you require, boy, and I shall give you the means to acquire it. Take the saw. It is old, yes, but sharp as needs be. Now prove to me that you are not completely incompetent by taking up your new tool. Once you have done so, present yourself to me for inspection. Carpenter unlocked. Ah. 
I first saw, Timbermaster Beaton is testing fledgling carpenters by challenging them to craft maple lumber. Good, you have proven that you know how to grip a saw, but do not mistake it for a mere tool, for it is a part of you, of your arm. And can you put down part of your arm? No. Mock me, then. If you do put it down, and worse, lose the bloody thing, I shall use my own saw to demonstrate to you the pain of losing a limb. Ah, but I jest. One-armed carpenters are scarcely half as useful, in my experience. In any case, merely holding a saw does not make you a carpenter, whatever some might think. You must become one with it, and learn to feel with it as you would the wood. To which you must first know the wood. Demonstrate your knowledge by bringing me a length of maple lumber. Maple lumber is made from maple logs, just so. Our man, Feral, by the entrance, will furnish you with such logs for a nominal price. Of course, any fool knows that fresh-cut logs are laden with water. To guard against decay, we use wind shards to hasten the natural drying process. Do not forget... Do not forget to do the same. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. As I mentioned before, Feral has maple logs in his stock, as well as many other materials you may require. Or, if you're ready, show me what you have brought. Maple lumber. Processed maple lumber. Easy enough. Yes, I feel it. The wood tells all. There were no careless cuts. Saw and carpenter moved as one, as if dancing. Do you see this grain? How it flows softly like syrup. Durable yet pliant, suitable for weapons and armor both. This child is maple. Trace the grain with your fingertips and memorize the lines. Consider every characteristic when choosing your materials. That is what it means to know the wood. The maple lumber you have brought me is... acceptable. You have passed the first test. Yet for all it is grown, your knowledge is still lacking. You must needs learn more. A true carpenter knows the qualities and uses of every tree in the forest. When you know the lines of the maple better than those upon your own hand, return to me. I shall have another test for you. Until then, child. Oh, there we go. That was weird. To be the wood. Timbermaster Beaton wants you to craft three maple shields. It is played from your bearing that you and your saw have begun to move as one, as true partners. Good, you are ready for the second test. You must be the wood. Before, you brought me maple lumber to demonstrate your knowledge of wood. This time, you will demonstrate your ability to create with it. I bid you craft me three maple shields. For this, you will require maple lumber and bronze rivets. As you would expect, our guild supplier, Feril, has no so shortage of that which you require. Should you desire a more economical solution, however, you might consider a more traditional method of acquisition. Many materials essential to our craft are harvested by our steadfast allies, the botanists of the Great Loam Growery. Were you to befriend one of their number, you might be able to come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Or, if you would rather not be beholden to another, you could even try your hand at botany. Now go, and do not disappoint me. What's this? Have you already bent the wood to your will? You are no workday carpenter. That much is plain. Well done, child. Your shields are most satisfactory. 
The pattern of the grain, the lingering scent of maple. Your choice of materials is excellent, and the construction above criticism. Few competitors can claim such skill. The Elizin once favored shields of wood. Did you know this? Today it is not so. They, like your adventurer brethren, are wont to choose the surety of the armorer's metal. But a shield of wood provides ample protection for a lower price. It is readily made and readily replaced if broken. And while not quite so sturdy, it may yet serve to spare a man his doom just as readily as any shield of metal. To imbue shield and spear with your strength, to pour your life into the wood that others might preserve their own. This is what it means to be the wood. Such responsibility is not to be taken lightly, child. You have passed the second test, and in doing so doing, have earned this amateur's claw hammer. Through a saw will suffice for many tasks. A competitor who wields blade and hammer, both, can perform his trade with greater ease. If you wish to improve as a competitor, it is essential that you learn to use the tool, two tools in combination. Continue to refine your skills and return to me when you are ready to take the next step. Supplies for the sick. Timber Master Beaton is looking to, for someone to deliver ash lumber. I see by the wearing of your saw blade that you have not neglected your carpentry since we last spoke. Very good. You will soon be ready for your third and final test. In the meantime, the guild has need of your services. You are familiar with ashwood. Ah, but of course you are. I bid you craft me ash lumber. A simple task, you say? Then you shan't have trouble crafting me twelve plates. This is no jest. We used our last few, last few mere moments ago. So you see, this assignment is motivated purely by practical concerns. I would ordinarily handle such a trifling task myself, of course, but I am feeling unwell, and I do believe you would benefit from the practice. Now go. Do not disappoint me. Ah, have you brought the ash lumber? Ash lumber. Processed ash lumber. Okay. Such a prodigious quantity. Thank you, child. You have done your guild a great service. Prodigious, I think, is what I meant to say. Apologies. Ash lumber is renowned for its unparalleled flexibility. This quality makes it ideal for use in bows and myriad other weapons. By the same token, ash lumber is easily worked and thus ideal for learning the basics of our craft. Such a versatile material is understandably popular, and so we always have need of more. It may <clears throat> also interest you to know that ash possesses certain medicinal properties. Tea brewed from its bark eases various complaints. Complaints such as that which I am presently afflicted. Suffice it to say, I am pleased to see that your lumber is dusted with a sufficiency of bark fragments. But let us return to the subject of carpentry. You have proven yourself more than capable of working without my guidance. If you wish to market your crafts to others, speak to Gontrent in the Caroline Canopy. He has an abundance of guild leaves waiting to be fulfilled. Continue to <coughs> refine your skills and return to me when you are ready to take the next step. Carpenter in need. Timber Master Beaton needs a carpenter to assist one of his newest apprentices. Well met, Raid. Your training as a carpenter is almost complete. 
Indeed, I had a splendid final test prepared for you. Alas, the plight of one of our guild's newest, newer members demands my attention. The boy's name is Mera Panera, and he is an adventurer like you, though one of rather less promise. Something troubles the lad, yet he is low to speak of personal matters with me, though I am the very soul of understanding, as you know. Perhaps you would fare better, a sense that he may be more inclined to speak with a fellow adventurer. Now go, Raid. Do not disappoint me. God strike me down for a fool. I'll never be able to finish in time. Please, you must help me. I can make ash short bows and feathered harpoons. Yo, you can make ash short bows and feather harpoons, can't you? You see, I went and forgot that I had agreed to craft two weapons for the archers and lancers guilds for delivery no later than, well, today. But today I am also obligated to complete an order of 100 lengths of oak lumber. The point being is that I can't possibly do both. And Timber Master Beaton is a veritable terror when his wrath when his wrath is upon him. If I dare neglect either duty, you surely will not spare me his saw. So why labor over this lumber? Might you consent to craft the goods for the guilds? Thank you. Oh, and when you are finished with them, I'd appreciate if you could deliver the weapons to the relevant guildmasters. Godspeed. Welcome, adventurer. To what do we owe the pleasure? Ash short bow. Is this the ash short bow we ordered? Thank you for delivering it. One of our Makote recruits has been struggling, lest you wonder. Talented though she is, the longbow we furnished her with does not suit a Makote's shorter arms and slighter frame. But I dare say this short bow, with its lighter draw weight and more modest span, should help her reach her pr true potential. Indeed, short bows not unlike this were favored by her ancestors, and some things never change. It is clear to me that a great deal of care went into this short bow's construction. I will see that our recruit spares no effort in making the most of this boon. Well met, adventurer. You do not seem to be here for training. Feathered harpoon. Ah, the feathered harpoon. My thanks for the delivery. Had we not received it in time, I was considering using a fisherman's harpoon instead. You seem surprised. I take it you are not aware that the harpoons we use in battle were born of the humble fisherman's tool. Aye, when Hurian fishers migrated inland from the coasts, they adopted the tools of their trade for use in the hunting of game. The resulting harpoon proved a fearsome weapon indeed, and so the lancers of old took it for their own. Hard to believe, is it not? I must say, this harpoon is a particularly impressive piece of craft craftsmanship. My compliments to the carpenter.
dash to. There we go. How kind of you to assist Mera Pimera with the orders. The Guildmaster spoke highly of your craftsmanship as well. This is very good. Do t not attempt to mislead me. I know full well it was your work. Needless to say, it was necessary to punish the Lalafell. Ah, I seem to spend more time sawing apprentices than would of late. I jest, of course. A saw is wasted on an apprentice. The stink of blood lingers, making it hard to focus on work. This, I know. I will admit, I was not ignorant of Mera Pamera's situation. In fact, I recognize an opportunity to test your character. You aided your fellow carpenter with no prospect of reward, delivering finely crafted goods when merely serviceable ones would have sufficed, and you claimed no credit. I'm proud of you, Raid. There is no doubt in my mind that your talents will serve the nation of Gridania well and save many lives. Just as they will bring about many deaths, that is the responsibility of all who make weapons. But a choice between the deaths of our people and the deaths of our enemies is no choice at all. You have passed the third and final tests. Congratulations, Raid. By your actions, you have demonstrated your understanding of what it means to know the wood, be the wood, and to love the wood. You possess the knowledge, skill, and compassion necessary to master carpentry. By overcoming these trials, you have proven that you are no longer a novice. The sapling is well on its way to becoming a tree. You are now a true carpenter of the oak atrium. Know, though, that however refined your skills may be, there will always be more to learn. Represent us well on your travels, Raid, and return to us often. You shall always be welcome. Okay. The Lance's Lesson. Timbermaster Beaton has a request for a well-traveled carpenter. Ah, Raid. My thoughts have turned to you lately. I trust you have honed your skills further since we last met. In that case, I have a request. Perhaps you have made iron lances before, you, before for your customers. However, you have not made them for me. As you doubtless know, my standards differ from those of others. An iron lance's design is one of elegance and simplicity, and I would see you demonstrate your ch understanding of those qualities through your work. This I ask of all my charges. The iron lance is a marriage of elm, iron, and leather. As you are doubtless aware, the requisite elm lumber and circles of leather are readily available within the city. Iron ingots, however, are much rarer, as they are forged by the smiths of Limsa Lominsa. Procuring them will prove far more problematic. You must steal yourself for a long and arduous journey raid. The wilderness is infested with unspeakable horrors, and the roads are watched by bandit hordes. Ah, but I jest. While such adorous character-building trials may have been possible once upon a time, they are, alas, simply unfeasible now. You need only browse the market boards or enlist the aid of a blacksmithing associate to obtain the iron you require. Oh, and there is but one more thing you must needs do. I would have you attach a single material to the lance you craft. Any type will suffice. I find it hard to believe that an experienced adventurer like yourself could be unfamiliar with the substance, but on the off chance that you are, I suggest you seek out that goblin fellow in central Thanlad. There is none more knowledgeable on the subject, or so I have heard. When you are in possession of all the necessary materials, I bid you craft me a single material enhanced iron lance.
Is your lance ready? I'm eager to see what you have wrought. Iron lance. You do not disappoint, Raid. Your lance exceeds my expectations. These formidable weapons were originally intended for use by the Ishgardian cavalry and were designed with the aim of maximizing their bearer's effectiveness on the field of battle. By utilizing the speed of his mount, a lance-wielding knight could easily deliver a devastating blow that would cripple, if not outright kill. But this mode of attack placed significant strain on both the rider and his weapon. Should the latter fail, the knight would be left defenseless. Needless to say, the Iron Lance proved to be anything but prone to failure, eventually prompting Gridania's wood whalers to adopt it as their own. The differences between the modern Gridanian weapon and the Ishgardian original are not so substantial, amounting to little more than a smaller vamplate. Our Lancers do not require the same protection as a mounted knight, you see. Fascinating, is it not? The history of our weapons carry, how they change and evolve to meet different demands. Truly, all things possess potential for growth. Weapons and armor, forests and cities, and aspiring carpenters. Remember this too, Raid. The Iron Lance is a marvelous weapon, not because it does not bend at the moment of impact, but because it does not break. To bend yet not break, to endure and preserve and finally triumph. When I gaze upon this lance, I am reminded of the singular importance of resolve, a quality I saw in you when, when first you joined us, and that will serve you well in the future. Whatever troubles you may face, remain resolute as an iron lance, and you will succeed. Crisis of confidence. Something appears to be troubling Timbermaster B. <sighs> oh, Raid. You look well. If you have come in search of work, I fear I have nothing to offer. Though, if you have no other pressing responsibilities, you might consider spending some time with the younglings in the Acorn Orchard. The workshop has demanded my full attention of late, and I have been unable to see them myself. That will be all, Raid. of those adventures that joined the guild. Beaten's down in the dumps, is he? No wonder he hasn't visited in ages. I've seen him like this before. I'll bet it's because he can't think of anything new to make. He's no fun when he's like this. I prefer it when he's waving his saw around and threatening to tie his useless new apprentices to Fagaga's gift and... Wait, I know. You're a pretty good carpenter, right? Then you can make high-quality walnut lumber. You know how he's always saying stuff like, You must know the wood, and all that? Well, I bet if we gave him some really, really good wood, it would cheer him up in no time. I know it sounds a bit strange, but then he is a bit strange, isn't he? And we have to try something. I miss the mean old beaten. Run! I'll just go on here, can't I? Yep. Leave me be, Raid. I must focus. What is this malice which plagues me? I thought myself resolute as an iron lance, and yet... Walnut lumber. Process walnut lumber. 
high quality. Hmm? Yes, I feel it. I feel it! This high quality walnut lumber is your handiwork, is it not? Yep. Dense, durable, and expertly finished. There is no doubting your skill, Raid. Walnut furniture was once quite popular in Old Dar. Perhaps we could revive that tradition. Or better yet, produce a sturdier base for a new vamplate design. The possibilities are endless! Thanks to you, Raid, it seems I am now paralyzed with indecision. How you have grown in, s in so short of time. You remind me of a dear friend, another soul possessed of great passion. Though we walked different paths, we pushed each other to give nothing less than our utmost. He even helped me through those times when inspiration filled me. I see much of him in you, and so I know I can hold you to the same high standards. Return to your work, Raid. But do not disappoint me. Between Captain and Conjurer, Timbermaster Beaton has a special commission for you. It is good that you have come, Raid. Your talents are needed for a commission. The client asks for you by name, in fact. It would seem that the adventurer turned carpenter has earned himself a reputation. You are to craft a walnut cane of unparalleled quality. When it is ready, bring it to me. I will not permit you to deliver anything less than perfection. Have you made the cane raid? Walnut cane. High quality. You have done well, raid. The gentle curve of the crook appears natural, as if it was destined to take such a shape. Indeed, your skillful application of growth formula has imbued this cane with new life, giving it the appearance of unworked wood. Wands and canes are perhaps the purest expression of the carpenter's creed, in that the finished product is a celebration of the wood's past life. Conjurers are, of course, highly attuned to the natural world, hence it is of no small coup to craft a cane that satisfies. But your cane should meet with the client's approval. You may go deliver it to him at the Adder's Nest. Okay. Yes, I'm waiting from a carpenter from the guild. Why do you ask? So this is Beaton's famed disciple. It pleases me that I can finally put a face to the name. I am Gerhard. Though I myself have it no talent for conjury, it is plain to see that this cane is exquisitely wrought. Aye, the cane is not for me. It is meant for a conjurer recently assigned to my unit. Her name is... Uh, Upon it, a talented but stubborn soul who has thus far resisted my every attempt to integrate her into our ranks. I have been here long enough to know that Gridanians can be rather protective of their city, and that this can manifest itself in a deep mistrust of outsiders. However, I cannot simply order her to set aside her prejudices. I need her to trust me of her own volition. It is my hope by, that by giving her this cane, she will at least accept my leadership. You will find her in still Glade Fane. Please give it to her on my behalf. Run!
How long does the captain intend to keep me waiting? Does he have any idea how little time a conjurer has to spare? A gift? That Alamegan kept me waiting this long for some trinket he did not even see to fit to deliver himself? Typical. These foreigners truly don't have the first idea about... <gasps> Gods, it can't be. A walnut cane? And one so finely wrought that I can scarce believe it was it man-made. To conjurers, our canes are the physical representation of our con connection with the living world. They provide a focus for us to channel the forces of nature and weave spells. To possess a cane made of walnut is a dream most conjurers share, and I am no different. I see the beauty of this cane, and the heart of the man who made it. That an outsider could craft this flawless cane, I... Forgive my impropriety, adventurer. I have never paid outsiders any mind. Imagine them incapable of comprehending Gudanian tradition. Yet it seems that it was I who failed to comprehend. You have humbled me, adventurer, and opened my eyes. It is clear that you have worked hard to learn our ways, as has Captain Gerhard. I cannot thank you both enough. Though I do not deserve this cane, I swear that I will do my utmost to earn it. My thanks again, adventurer. Should you meet with the captain before I do, please convey my gratitude. I knew it would not be easy pleasing her, but I never doubted that Beaton's finest could deliver. Heh, <laughs> I wonder, how is he? Still working too hard, I presume. So it goes. Anyway, duty calls. Thank you again, Raid. Please give my regards to the Timber Master. Welcome back, Raid. Was the client satisfied? Interesting. So the client was not a conjurer himself. In any case, I am glad to hear that the intended recipient was satisfied. I must know, Raid. Who was this client? I only received their messenger, and I cannot fathom why they would not come to in person. Gerhard, are you certain? I thought him far for Gundania, on campaign. When did he return? Why would he not greet me in person? We have known each other for so many years. Well, I can only assume that his duties leave no time for such niceties. I am glad to hear he is home and well. Thank you for attending to his request, Raid. I look forward to our next meeting. Growing apart, Timbermaster Beaton seems to be smirking in your general direction. Well, well, if it isn't Raid, you grow more popular with every commission. Take that walnut cane, for example. You remember, don't you? The one you crafted not long ago? Like, a minute ago? Sure. It must have left quite the impression on Gerhard, because he has once again requested your services. This time, he would have you craft an oak longbow. A quality longbow, but I presume you already knew that. Gerhard's squad is considered one of the finest units in the Yellow Serpents, 
They are all tasked with dangerous missions which carry them deep into hostile territory. Our soldiers should never want for the best material. I trust you will not disappoint, Raid. Nope. Don't have to go anywhere. Have you the longbow, Raid? Oak longbow. High quality. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Some carpenters claim that oak is ill-suited for use in longbows, and that other woods are far preferable. Preferable. <clears throat> but I would say you've chosen your materials well. This particular specimen is both hard and elastic, and I see no reason to believe it will take a permanent bend. Of course, we have you to thank for that. The finest materials are nothing without a skilled craftsman to mold them. Indeed, this longbow is a testament to your ever-growing skills. Gerhard will approve. You may take it to him at Adder's Nest. Run! Ah, Raid, do you have the longbow I requ requested? Oak longbow. High quality. My word, I see my faith in you was not misplaced. I have a young archer under my command who will be thrilled to receive this. It's of critical importance that my squad keeps its weapon and armor in good shape. Our reconnaissance mi missions often require that we spend weeks in isolation without any form of support. In fact, we must leave for our next mission on the morrow. Unfortunately, this must means I must once again postpone my visit to the guild. If Eaton complains, just give him a piece of quality lumber on my behalf. That should provide ample distraction. He's always been more passionate about his work than anything else. But I imagine you learned that long ago. Till we meet again, Raid. Gerhard was satisfied then. Good, good. Hmm? Another mission? I... I understand. We are both professionals res with responsibilities that cannot be ignored. Even so, it always gives me cause for worry. I do not question his ability as a commander or as an archer, but irrational as it may be, I... Ah, forgive me. I am cursed with an overactive imagination. It is nothing. Never mind. We shall speak again when next I have a commission for you. Memento Mori. Timbermaster Beaton is staring at you quite intently. Raid, you devil. If I didn't know better, I'd say Gearhard was smitten with you. He's given you another commission, this time for an oak composite bow. In case you were unaware, such a bow can only be wielded by a match master archer with years upon years of experience in the field. Don't you see? You are to craft a bow for Gerhard himself. You are to give this commission your undivided attention, Raid. While simply crafting an oak composite bow is no small feat, I will not permit you to present anything less than perfection. Have I made myself clear? Good. Now go. Only perfection will suffice, Raid. If you have it, then show me. Oak composite bow. High quality. Even experienced carpenters can find constructing a composite bow to be a daunting task, given the complexity of the design and the very variety of materials required. 
but the resulting product is well worth the price. This union of wood, bone, and sinew possesses the power of a self-bow more than twice its size. This makes it ideal for archers who must travel with minimal supplies and cannot afford to carry heavier equipment. No matter how much I search, I cannot find a flaw with your craftsmanship, your materials, your execution. It is all, for want of a better word, perfect. It comforts me to know that Gerhard will wield this formidable weapon. Deliver it to him with my blessings. Run! Greetings, Raid. I believe you have a delivery for me. Now this is a fine bow, worthy of the bow lord himself. The girl will be pleased. What's that? that? Beaton thought this was for me. Oh no, this is for another one of my archers. I have a perfectly serviceable bow that has served me for many years. Beaton ought to know it. He made it. Ah, those were the days. He the young initiate, I was the aspiring serpent. He wasn't always so damn cocksure, you know. Back then he was full of doubts and questions. The maple longbow he made me might not look like much to you, but to me it's the perfect weapon. I intend to use it until the day I die. Not that I intend to die any time soon, of course. Now then, I believe I have a delivery of my own to make. If you'll excuse me, Ray. Welcome back, Raid. Was Gerhard well? What? He still uses the longbow I made as an initiate. I didn't think he kept it. But a twin adder captain deserves a far finer weapon. I should offer to craft him a new one. Until the day I die. <laughs> what nonsense. Surely that longbow is no more than a mangled stick at this point. If it were to break during battle, he would only have himself to blame. Ugh, but I cannot stand idly by while he... No, no, I will give this no more thought. He is an experienced soldier. He would never be so reckless. Oh, I did not realize you were still here, Raid. You may go. I have nothing else for you today. Gone till the sixth astral moon. Timbermaster Beaton appears to be carrying a heavy burden. <sighs> not now, Raid. I have too much on my mind. I did not intend for things to become so heated. Yet Gearhard refused to listen to reason and I... Never mind. Leave me to my work. If you still desire company, perhaps young Nicklu will serve. Remember you? Raid, right? Let me guess. Beaton told you to go away again. He's been like that since Gearhard left. He had some commission for the guild, but Beaton wouldn't accept it because of an old bow or something. There was shouting, and Beaton threw him out. They were both acting like younglings. I don't know if it'll help, but maybe you should talk with Gearhard about what happened. I think he went back to the adder's nest. Leave old Beaton to me. I'll talk some sense into him. Raid, what brings you here? So you heard about what happened at the guild. It's unfortunate that the children bore witness to our dispute. 
<sighs> it is even more unfortunate that I must ask you to become involved. My request was intended for the Timber Master himself, and since he has refused me, I have no choice. I need a Cobalt Halibut, a cr Jade Crook, and a Yu Longbow. Your best quality and as fast as possible. This equipment is required for a mission of grave import, which is why I first approached the Timber Master. But you are also a proven artisan raid, so I think you can, I can safely entrust it to you. Nevertheless, I must ask that you present the finished items to Beaton for inspection. If he judges them acceptable, I will gladly accept. I feel it necessary to apologize for my early behavior raid. It was unbecoming of a timber master. Ah, so you agreed to fill Gearhard's order. Very well, let me see what you have wrought. You longbow, high quality. Cobalt halibur, high quality. Jade crook, high quality. You chose your bow stays wisely. I see no imperfections in the U which would interfere with performance. The rosewood reinforcements appear solid, and the sinew bowstring is of excellent quality. I have no objections to this bow. And I believe this is the first time I have judged a halibut of your creation. Fascinating weapons, halibuts. Did you know that they were a Hell's God invention? Their marauders first used them to repel mounted units. A skilled wielder could easily pull a rider from his saddle. As far uh, uh, as for this particular halibut, I have no criticisms. In fact, given the quality of the axe blade, I can't help but to wonder if you've been studying blacksmithing. Though, even if you were pursuing other disciplines, this crook proves that you have not neglected your carpentry. The luxurious reddish browns of the mahogany, then enticing or entrancing greens of the jadeite. It is a true expression of Gerdanian philosophy, a triumph of craftsmanship made only with the necessary materials. Bravo, Raid. I was wrong to deny Gerhard, but thanks to you, his squad will not suffer for my stubbornness. I only pray that he reconsiders my offer. Ah, yes, you may proceed with the delivery. Beaton has no objections. Excellent. Then if you would hand me the weapons. When we first met, the quality of your work was already impressive. I must say, though, that looking at your most recent products, it's clear even to me that you have grown tremendously, both professionally and personally. Or maybe it's more obvious when contrasted with Beaton's. <sighs> no, that is hypocritical for me of me to say. I am as much to blame for our squabble as he. I swear, when we fought, it was though nothing had ever changed. In any case, I thank you for your hard work. This next mission may be our most dangerous yet, and it gives me great comfort to know my squad is equipped with the finest weapons. It may be some time before I see you and Beaton again. Please give him my regards. Was he pleased, Raid? Oh, once again he fails to deliver his farewells in person. Yet a soldier must serve, and a carpenter must craft. These are the lives we have chosen. I tried to reason with him. I offered to replace his longbow, but he refuses to face reality. That bow will not last another moon. If even that, 
My fervent protestations fell on deaf ears, allowed my temper to overwhelm me, and I said many things I now regret. When we return to Gridania, we should have much to discuss. Pray that day comes soon. Saving Captain Gearhard, Timber Master Beaton is in great distress. Oh, Raid! It's horrible! It's so horrible! An officer from the Adder's Nest came to speak with me. In the North Shroud, near Ixil territory, they... they found... Gearhard's longbow! I saw the fragments myself. It was the selfsame maple longbow I made all those years ago. Which means... he... Gearhard is... I wish to be alone right now, Raid. Go. Be with your loved ones or play with the younglings in the Acorn Orchid. Hey, Raid. It's good you weren't here earlier when Beaton heard the news. He went on a rampage in the workshop, howling like an animal and breaking anything within reach with his bare hands. I don't think we can help him this time, but if you want to try, we could give him some really, really good wood. Like, say, the best length of rosewood lumber you can make. Maybe that would work? Wait, did I ever get that? Yes, I did. Why, why have you returned? I told you, I wish to be alone. Rosewood lumber, high quality, processed rosewood lumber. This, this is, this is an exquisite length of rosewood lumber. Truly the culmination of decades of growth and maturation. I know you mean well, Raid, but it is of no use. My thoughts remain with Gerhard. Like a young sapling, he matured into a magnificent tree, only to be cut down before his... Wait, what am I saying? Gerhard was no sapling. He was one of our finest, and the scouts... The scouts found signs of a skirmish, but no bodies. Do you not see? He must still be alive. He and his squad are out there somewhere, isolated and likely low on supplies. I know for a fact that he only carries one bow, so if the, that weapon has been broken... Matron, for offend, he could be defenseless! He must needs be sent a new one straight away, but I fear I am in no condition to craft it. In my earlier fu foolish tantrum, I injured my hand and have not the strength to grip a saw. You must be the one to craft Gerhard's bow raid. I beg you, make him a peerless crab bow and affix it to it a savage A material of the third grade. Once finished, seek out Gearhard and his men in the North Shroud. The fragments of his low long bow were found not far from Alder Springs. If the matron is merciful, you will find him not far from there. Please, Raid, you are my one and only hope. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and make that thing. Yes. There we go. That's.
What do you think you're doing here? Take cover, fool! There are Ixal about! Bad bull. High quality. Oh no! Damn it, Ray! This is no place for a carpenter! Bow? Did Beaton send you all this way just to deliver a bow? Yep. That... he... God's bless that stubborn fool! I should have listened when he said my maple longbow was at its limit. My thanks, Raid. If it weren't for you, I don't know what I, what I have done. Now keep your head down. I've a chieftain to slay. You saved lives to this day. I cannot thank you enough, Raid. Please let Beaton know that we are fine, and that I will see him again soon. I could kiss you, Raid. He lives. Gerhard lives. I owe you a debt that can never be repaid a thousand times over. I thank you. You came to us as seedling, yet now you are as a heaven's pillar. There is naught else I have to teach you. In fact, you have inspired me to reflect on my own deficiencies. Matter though they may be, I would be remiss if I neglected personal development. Though you are no longer under my tutelage, I trust you will continue to hone your craft as well. Best of luck to you, Raid. <laughs> 